Welcome to Health Synergy, where we help people reduce their stress and get control of their life, their health, and their destiny. I'm Robert Ridpath. You know, we're living in really tumultuous times right now. The economies have a big hit, uh, the housing market and all those sort of things, and that affects the security of many people's jobs. And that creates a lot of stress and that's trickling down to our families. And stress seems to be controlling and destroying many people's lives. It affects our sleep. It zaps our energy. It puts us in a poor mood. It ruins our relationships. And most importantly, it takes the joy and the juice out of our lives. And if you want to feel better, if you want to have more energy and enjoy life more, then we have to get stress under control. Now what's interesting, many look to forward to this idea of stress management. And what's that? Well, stress management is really juggling or managing more. And I ask the question, do you want to juggle or manage more? Or do you actually want to reduce your stress? See, that's the difference between stress management and stress reduction. So for true stress reduction, we need to get to the root cause of what's causing us stress. So the most common question I always get, Robert, how can I decrease my stress? And my answer is very simple. You focus on what's most important in your life. What do I mean by that? You see, at the end of life, when you think back, are you going to think about all the stuff you have, that amazing microwave oven, uh, that beautiful pair of shoes, that lawnmower? Or are you going to think about the experiences, the memories, the good times, those emotionally charged times? I think you know the answer, right? So I want to surface something. I think we've been tricked or maybe misled or brainwashed into believing we can have it all. And thus, we work hard towards having it all so we have more stuff. Look, aren't you working hard? Aren't you trying to make extra money to buy stuff? But what is the real cost of that stuff? It's the loss of time and the loss of experiences and that means a loss of fulfillment. I don't think we can have and do it all. It's not the boys with the most toys that win or the girls with the most toys. That's wrong. We can't have it all. We can't do it all. There's too much to do. Therefore, we need to focus on quality over quantity. We need to focus on the really important things. So what do you really need? Well, let me share a story that might help you with this. Say you go for a walk in the woods, maybe you got a t-shirt on and some shorts, and you get out there and it starts getting dark, and then you go off the trail to take a shortcut, and you get lost. It's getting dark, it starts raining, and now you're cold, you're shaking, you're shivering, and this goes on all night, and the next day, you know, you're maybe almost hypothermic, you're dehydrated, you, you could potentially die, and what happens? You see a small house. Someone sees you and they bring you in. They see you're cold. They give you some dry clothes. They give you uh, a warm blanket. They put you in front of the fireplace. They give you some good food. They ask you what happened and you start telling them. Then you start laughing and you think, wow, how crazy was I? What's the moral here? The moral is we don't need a lot to be happy. It doesn't take much to satisfy our needs. We just need the right things. So how do you figure this out? How do you figure out what you really need? You do that by clarifying and reducing. And we're going to do an exercise for this. So how could you reduce your everything you own by say 25%? You see, if you do that, that gets you to focus on your wants versus your needs. And this is actually an exercise that takes you deeper than that. It's more important than that. It really allows you to focus in on what's most vital and important in your life right now. The next way you can figure out what you need to reduce your stress and to be happy is to, by doing the be, do, have exercise. And you're going to need three pieces of paper for this. And on the top of one, write be. On the top of the next, write do. And on the top of the last, write have. And now the fun part. You get to brainstorm and dream and go crazy about all the things you want to have. So start writing that down. So I'm a guy, right? So I want nice cars, big TVs, electronics, yada yada. But you write down what you want. On the next page, with the do on it, you start writing down all the things you want to do in your life. And then 
Think about the experience you want from them. What memories do you want to have? So think about the idea or the thought. What is the ultimate experience I want to get from doing this? And then finally, I want you to think a little bit deeper. On the third page it says be. So think about who do you want to be in person, in spirit, in mind, in body, right? Write down who you want to be and start to focus on that. Define who you want to be, in, again, in person, in mind, body, and spirit. Most won't know how, who they want to be. That's why you need to do this exercise. And I ask you, do you want to be more caring, more loving, more understanding? Do you want to be happier, stronger? Do you want to become a better listener, more compassionate? Maybe a better father, a better mother, a better friend, whatever it is. Write down who you want to be. Interesting, when most people think about memories, they think back to being a kid. You know, high school, their first job, their first car, their first kiss. That's the past, right? That's the good old days, and many people keep living in the past. Well, guess what? The story of your life isn't over yet. You have more living. So think about the future. What memories do you want to have? See, the neat thing about being a human is our brain. We have these things called frontal lobes and they give us forethought. What's that mean? This means you can think about the future. So ask yourself, how can I create more experiences that generate those wonderful lasting memories? The moments that lead to fulfillment, right? If you haven't noticed, time equals life. If you waste your time, you waste your life. However, if you value time, you value life and it's more fulfilling. So be smart about this. Use forethought and logic to make this happen for yourself. Take control of your destiny. Be intelligent. Design, plan, and make your destiny. Build your experiences. Something to think about. Why not write the chapter or the story of your life and live into it? That's what forethought allows us. This makes life more fulfilling for you and it's going to give you more experiences, more memories and those moments that truly make life fulfilling. Because as you know, success without fulfillment, it's not success. And we've all heard the stories about the millionaires, the rock stars, the movie stars, or maybe they weren't just rich people. And what happens is, you think, wow, they have all this money, they must be happy, right? Yet inside, they don't feel fulfilled. Their belly brain isn't happy, if you will. So I understand that for some, this is not the best of times. I've been there too. And I want to empower you, and I want to suggest that maybe you've been living this chapter long enough. That maybe now you can write the ending to this chapter. You can close it. Is it possible you could actually close this chapter and start a new blank page, a new chapter of your life and live into it? To reduce your stress, focus on what's most important. Don't waste your time pursuing stuff or things that don't matter. Focus on planning, on building and generating experiences that create and ultimately lead to fulfillment. Focus on quality over quantity. Do these simple yet very vital exercises because if you do, I promise you, it's going to help reduce your stress. It will allow you to focus and it will allow you to live a happier, more fulfilling, more complete life. And me? I'm curious. I want to know what happened. How it changed your life. That when you change your focus and you focus on the be, do, have exercise, how it reduces your stress and changes your life. So please comment and let me know your thoughts. Actually, better still, I want to meet you. I want to hear your story. So click on the comment box below and actually leave me a video response so I can hear your voice and see you. 
There are many others that need and want to hear this message. So please help them and forward this video link on. Help make a difference in their life. I'm Robert Ridpath. I hope this video serves you well. So go out, live well, live strong, and make a difference today.